What's up everybody and welcome to Reviews by Russ. Today we're going to be discussing Star Wars Clone Wars Series 7, which is now streaming on Disney+. The first episode is entitled Bad Batch. Before we get started, we have to say spoilers, so if you haven't seen this, you want to get out of here right now. Alright, the episode starts off with the Battle of Anaxis. We see that the Separatist army led by Admiral Trench is attacking the Republic shipyard. Uh, we then cut down to the planet's surface where we have Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu discussing the battles and how things aren't going so well. In come Rex and Cody. Uh, Cody then explains that Rex has a theory as to what's going wrong. Rex starts to tell Anakin and Mace about how he feels that the droids are using some kind of analytics to figure out the strategies of the clones and these are specifically Rex's strategies. Um, Anakin senses something's wrong. He asks Rex if there's anything else. Rex says no, but then we know that Rex isn't telling the truth. You can just tell. So the next scene we have Cody and Rex talking privately. He shares with Cody that he feels that these strategies were made by himself and Echo and somehow he just feels that Echo is still alive. We know that Echo was killed off seasons ago and so Cody's like this doesn't make sense but Rex explains they need to go and attack this cyber center where they may be able to find out some information on what's going on. We go outside with Rex and Cody. They meet up with Kix and Jesse where Cody explains they'll be being reinforced by Clone Force 99, which is a throwback to the character 99, who was a deformed clone that lived on Kamino. He was kind of a janitor, also a mentor to the cadets as they came up through the system. He also played a major role in the Battle of Kamino, where he ultimately gave his life to save his brothers. Uh, we see then a ship fly in. They're almost crash into the other clones and the stuff that's going on around on the landing pad. Uh, this time the door opens and we're introduced to the Bad Batch. This is a group of four clones that are all specifically mutated in a certain way that seems desirable to the Republic. Uh, we meet all four new characters. We have Hunter, Crosshair, Wrecker, and Tech. Uh, each of them has a special ability. Uh, as I said, they're mutated in different ways. One of them is extremely strong. Another one's a technical genius. Crosshair is obviously a sniper. Uh, these guys kind of immediately catch an attitude with the clones. They're calling them regs, and basically they have a big chip on their shoulder. They uh, all board the gunship to go to check out this cyber base of the Separatist army where they're on the way there, they're shot down by some spider droids. Uh, the, the gunship crashes, landed on the side. Everyone gets out except Cody, he's trapped. This is where we see Wrecker, he gets up and like almost with incredible Hulk-like strength, he flips over the gunship and rescues Cody. Uh, the ship then explodes and Wrecker even says, boom, so he's just like a crazy berserker type character. A battalion of droids, uh, find our heroes. Uh, they're immediately dispatched by the Bad Batch. They just take out nearly 100 droids like it's no problem whatsoever. At this point, they realize that Commander Cody is seriously injured and can't continue, so Kix stays behind with Cody. They call for an evac, and then the rest of the group, Rex and Jesse and the rest of the Bad Batch, they continue forward. Uh, they run into a droid outpost where they just wreck everything quick it's, it's just it's no no contest you can see the cyber center from this outpost they plan to go on ahead at this point there's another large separatist force that's landed on the planet and is starting to come towards their location uh, rex tells tech to keep them posted on where these droids are and they go ahead and steal some speeder bikes get to the cyber center and it's just like the other battles so far in the show they wipe out the droid army like it's nothing Rex and Tech go inside and start hacking into the computer system and they discover this algorithm. They also discover that it sounds kind of like a human voice um, and it's also coming from another planet which is Skako Minor. They all, they, as they're kind of honing in on what's going on, they start hearing the voice and it's saying CT1409, which we know is Echo's clone number. Rex realizes that 
Echo is alive. He knows that he was his hunch was right. Um, they call for uh, evac. Uh, Crosshair steals a ship to get everybody away. They all escape together right as the droid army just really kind of comes down on the location. Uh, the tactical droids go inside and they contact Admiral Trench. They tell him that no data has been stolen, but the system was hacked and they had discovered the algorithm and they had discovered that it was coming from Skako Miner. So at this point, Admiral Trench is very upset. Uh, the episode ends. Uh, we know that Echo is alive, so I would assume that he is not a traitor, that he is captured, uh, possibly hooked up to machines, truth serum. Uh, who knows, maybe it's even just his brain in a jar. I would assume the next few episodes will go on a rescue mission. They're gonna tr probably try to find this Skako minor planet and see what's going on, uh, as this is causing a lot of trouble for the Republic Army. Uh, I would like to know what you guys think about it. Uh, just leave some comments in the comment section and we'll talk about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.